Hey YouTube, this is Retro Sandman, and today's tutorial is going to be how to take Cinema 4D 3D text and um, export it into Photoshop so you guys can have uh, really awesome 3D text for whatever you're going to be making, like a signature or a YouTube background, anything of that sort. So uh, first what we're going to do, we're going to open Cinema 4D, and we're going to come up to MoGraph and Text Object and uh, we have a basic 3D text here now uh, coming down over here um, to the uh, attributes of it we're gonna go to the object tab and we're gonna it, it'll say text we're gonna change that to whatever you like I'm gonna change mine to retro just because that's what I always change mine to and uh, as you can see we have a, a basic font uh, if you wanna change your font you can uh, come back down to the at attributes uh, tab uh, and right below where we type there it says font click that and it will open up a a font window uh, you can choose anything you'd like I actually am going to choose Ravi it's an awesome text that I found that is not working so I'm gonna choose a different one <laughs> so you guys choose whatever one you think is uh, good I'm, I'm gonna choose this one and uh, also if you wanna change the depth of it you can mess around with that how deep how uh, far back the text goes uh, I'm just gonna set mine at 120 like that and uh, that is uh, just a basic text I'm that's all I'm gonna be showing you guys today is basic so after that um, just kinda zoom in maybe you want to uh, add some color so if you come down here to uh, this open area you just double click it'll add a material uh, double click on that material and you can edit it uh, it should be on the color tab. Come up here, change the color, whatever you want. I'm going to change mine to blue because that, that's my color. Uh, come check luminance and change that to blue. You might want it a little bit darker if you're going for a darker color of blue because it will make it lighter. And then I like to put a reflection on it. So check the reflection tab. Change the brightness down to 20. And then uh, there's a little arrow next to the texture text. And, it, and choose a Fresnel. And uh, this really gives it an awesome effect. Change that down to 22. And I like to give it a blurriness of 5. Uh, that's my settings. Uh, exit out of that. Take this uh, material and drag it onto your text. And that will uh, give it a really awesome look. Just like this. Alright. Kind of center it up how you want it. Uh, you can render it by clicking that uh, little action button the first one not the second or third and uh, that will render out see see what it's gonna look like in Photoshop when we get done with it and this will be an alpha channel so saying it's not gonna have like a white background so you have to take the magic wand tool and uh, do all that crap it's gonna um, automatically make this a transparent background so that's really nice uh, now we're gonna come up to the uh, rendering uh, settings uh, button which is the third play play thing as you can see right here just click that it'll open the rendering settings uh, for general just make sure it's on full render for output change the width to 1280 and the height to 720 that is uh, HD settings and uh, that should be it for that for the save um, for the save file click on the little dot 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 over there and save it wherever you want I'll save it on my desktop I'll name it uh, retro Sandman hit save for the format, now this is important. You're, for the format, you're going to choose PNG, and uh, then you're going to come down. It says Alpha Channel. Now you're going to want to select this because this is the thing that that makes it transparent. All right, this is the thing that makes it transparent, so uh, has a transparent background. If if you don't have this selected, it will have a white background, and you're going to have to do all that crap in Photoshop. But if you have this selected, it will be transparent. So that's a good thing to have. Uh, for multi pass, you don't need anything anti. Uh, Alice, whatever. Uh, change it for it should be on geometry. Change it to best, and uh, everything else should be good in there. And uh, in the options, everything should be set. And then if you come down to effect, I like to put ambient occlusion on here. Now this gives it a super awesome effect. It will take a lot longer to render. Um, if you have a slower computer, I don't know if that's a good thing to do, but if you have a nice computer, decent one like I do, which mine isn't even that decent, uh, it really gives it an amazing effect. So I would uh, suggest p 
putting this on there. So once you get done with that, you can exit out of there and uh, center it up. Maybe change the slant like that. And uh, then we're going to click the middle uh, action button for it to render. So click that, and as you can see, it's going to start rendering for us. And it will go a little bit slow, but that's okay. So I'm going to pause the video so we don't waste video time just sitting here watching this render. So I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, my uh, render just got done, as you can see. Uh, we can exit out of everything, even Cinema 4D, and it will ask you to save it. I suggest not to save it, but you know, if you want to come back here and edit it later, if you really like what you did, you can save it. I'm not going to save it. So, and, yeah. So I already have Photoshop opened up. Uh, we're going to go up to File, Open, and what we are going to do, we are going to go to where we saved our uh, Cinema 4D text, select it, hit Open, and voila, there's our uh, transparent background text that looks amazing. Um, it is already transparent, so you can just make a new layer, say. Uh, drag that underneath your text layer. Um, get your gradient tool. Uh, do whatever you want from here and out. So, as you can see, I already have a pretty awesome thing going on already. So, guys, yeah, that is how you make a uh, transparent background in uh, Cinema 4D and export it to Photoshop. So, I hope you guys like this one. Please thumbs it up. Subscribe if you like my videos. And, uh, Send me a message suggesting a some tutorial ideas for me to uh, to make for you. It would really help me out a lot, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. So, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial by Retro Sandman. I will uh, see you guys in my next one. See you.